Uh, I bought more makeup. Beep, boop, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, boop. Hello. My holiday gift to you is this little guy. This is a microphone. Hello. We can do some ASMR bullshit up in this. I don't understand the appeal of ASMR, but maybe this is enjoyable for you. <laughs> I will not be doing that close to my face the whole time, do not worry. So hopefully my audio quality is vastly improved, although you are sitting on a laptop and it's wobbly, so. Uh, worse video quality, but better auto audio quality? This is why we are here. I bought more makeup. I don't need any more makeup, but I bought more makeup. So we're gonna open this with my tiny, not a machete, I already forgot what this is called, butcher thing. Meat, meat cleaver. First off, we have a receipt. How fascinating. Oh my goodness. Ulta always just like piles everything in here. Goodness. Okay. They have a bag first. I purchased things with the express intention of getting the like free sample gift packs that they had available. So I have two of those in here. But first, things I actually bought. Um, Nisi Pisa is always saying that the Essence mascaras are like her favorite mascara in the world and they're cheap and cute and they have like this little corset thing and I've never tried them. Well, I've tried it now and it did this to me. That's what you want out of a mascara, right? Right? I also got the Bad Gal Bang? No, just Bad Gal Lash, I guess. Ugh, apparently they're different things. I wanted the Bang one because I wanted it to have magic space astronaut shit in it, but whatever. Ooh, can you see it? Can you see it? Ooh, you can see it. <laughs> I thought this was the one that is like made with space particles or something that they use in like astronauts so that eyelashes float or whatever. We will see if I like this, even if it is not made with astronaut space suits. After I cleaned off that essence shit, I used this shit and it is great. It's so soft. I've never had a mascara that didn't make my eyelashes just like all crusty. It was just like soft and pliant. It was really nice. This is my hol- Ooh. This is my one that I've been using, my Hollow Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like almost empty. There's just like that much left. This is my favorite lip gloss of 2018. It smells like a pineapple cupcake and they are pretty and glittery and they are not sticky. These are so good. I want to smell the pineapple cupcake. Ooh. Do you want that ASMR action? <laughs> Why is that enjoyable? I don't understand. Probably because you're not doing ASMR, you weirdo. You're just making loud noises near a mic. The ghost you are hearing is the ghost of Chris past. <laughs> he didn't laugh at my joke. I don't know if you can hear him, but it is his birthday today and I'm making him sit through this because I'm a great partner. I love you. <laughs> Look, my face pops up on the side. This. This is... Okay, so this is already like half... My work is reminding me that I work from home and I don't do this for a living. Um, so this... I'm on my lunch break, just so you know. If coworkers watch this, this is my lunch break. This is already halfway out of its packaging for some reason, which is a little bit alarming. Stop it! I love you, friend, but you need to cease. Um, so this is Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder that I'm hoping I can use as a powder foundation. Mm. This house is just an endless, ceaseless pile of noise. That shit was trash. It made me look like a ghost and it clung to every single tiny little thing on my entire face. Ooh, that is too dark for me. I got the Age Rewind. Here is my skin and here is it, but I'm also like ghostly pale, so. The other day I told Chris that I was the lightest shade in most foundations and he's like, oh, you need naked mole rat shade, subterranean creature who never sees the light of day shade. I do not come here to get roasted. This was my free gift for spending like $15 on Maybelline and it is a eyeliner pencil. What else is in here? These. Please watch my video about why these are absolute garbage. Aha! The Essence Fairy Wings and Magical Things. There is a YouTuber whose name I honestly don't know at all. I remember her face. She has like a very angular face. She always wears 
colored contacts, and she wears a lot of interesting wigs. That's gonna help you in your search for finding her on YouTube, I know. I'll put her up here, her review of this palette, because she loved this palette. It's a, uh, why do I, I wanted to say it's a lilac palette. It's a pastel palette. Come on. Eh. Why? More ASMR. I don't know why I'm trying to, like, remove this on camera. Like, am I gonna swatch this for you? Because I'm not. If you want to see a review in swatches, go see that girl that I posted because she did a really great job and she was the reason I wanted to buy this palette. So let her convince you to also buy this palette. Spend the money that you don't have. And now we have the two kitty bag thingamajigs. So this one is from NARS. I didn't buy anything from NARS, but it was like, if you spend a certain amount of money and then they just send you this NARS pack, and I was like, Sounds good to me. They all come in these little black boxes. Pour and Shine Control Primer. Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. In the shade, uh, brown. In the shade Dolce Vita. That is a very brown nude lip. Why am I putting it back in its box? Why am I making these decisions in life? And I can't even close the box. Fuck this. Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. Is this just black? The color is Via Veneto. What does that mean? It is black. Why does it need this big of a box for that? tiny of a thing. Kill the trees, see if anyone cares. And this is a bronzing powder. Watch it be in the shade Trump Orange. Open, damn you! Why can't I ever open anything? Why is this so hard? Christopher, will you open it for me, please? Are you serious? He did that in one second, just like whoop, opens it up, no big deal. Oh, I practice. <laughs> It's got a little, like, box within a box. All for this eedy beedy. Oh, that's fancy. Their little tiny plastic insert says NARS on it. That's just too much. Um, it's in the shade too dark for me. Let's put it back in its box within a box. Back in its little box. That is a lot of packaging for one tiny little thing. Oh, for the mother load. This is very going to get filthy very fast. So this is their sample gift goodie bag thing. And it has this weird tassel zip pull that is bigger than my entire life. <laughs> perfume, A Beautiful Bell by Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder's perfumes always smell like grandma to me. BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation in the color Light Olive, which in no way, shape, or form will fit me. I'm up here. Light Olive is down here. Here. <laughs> we have chiclets. Whoosh. L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Tinted Self Tanning Lotion. I will never self tan. Sorry. The Universal One Everyday Shampoo and Everyday Conditioner. All right. Our exclusive marine technology helps transform hair from the inside out. It's it's shampoo. Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. A pre-treatment serum. Boop 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 boop. That shit smells like sweet apples and marshmallow. So this is a foil pack, but it came on this like giant cardboard thing. Waste of space and packaging. Urban Decay. This one I'm excited about. It is their eye sh eyeshadow primer potion. But again, why is it in this ginormous box? Ooh, that's so pretty. Pretty. Look, it's got like, I've never owned an actual version of this. I've owned the little foil packs, but looky, look, it's like got a diamond tip. I'm sure all of you already know this because everyone has this but me. Giant freaking package for these weird things. Wow, is this more shampoo? Caviar anti-aging shampoo. Anti-aging shampoo. There is no actual caviar in here. Hee <laughs> This has been around for a while, and I'm just the last person to ever get on board the um, micellar cleansing water train. This is incredible, and do not go to your grocery store and try and purchase, like, Clean and Clear's version, because I did, and it was this giant bottle for, like, five dollars, and that stuff is terrible. It's sticky, and it doesn't really work, and it smells like alcohol, and it's awful. Just get this kind. It's not that much more expensive. <laughs> Wah! Becca! Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I hate whenever makeup calls their product a liquid because it just sounds like gross. Wah! Diva Curl Wash, Wash Day Wonder. What? This looks like a mascara. Clinique High Impact Mascara. I purchased the Essence Mascara, but honestly, I have so many mascara samples it could survive me until doomsday. But Nisi Pisa loves these. And 
I love Nasty Pizza, so... Benefit, gimme brow. Samples work. I went out and bought this immediately after trying it. <sighs> 94% said brows looked visibly thicker. Did you know that if you apply a brow product, 94% of people will be like, wow, I'm wearing brow product. Chris smiled, I made a good joke. So what's this? Ooh. Go smile stain erasers, instant stain erasers for fresh breath and sparkling white teeth. What? So, if I'm understanding this, the concept is that if you have drinking coffee or tea and your teeth have coffee residue, instead of brushing your teeth, they're calling it a stain, which you can't really stain your teeth after like two seconds. They want you to rub this thing on your teeth and then your stains will be gone. And I have a feeling this is just peppermint oil. <laughs> just so you know. It's ridiculous. Just go brush your teeth if you're worried about your teeth looking brown. What is this? Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. The sprayer portion of this is twice as big as the bottle portion. Two foil packs. Heracone MD Essential FX Eyelid Lift Serum. Gently pat onto eye area using your ring finger. Ring finger is this one. <laughs> Don't use any other fingers or the product won't work. Use morning and evening. Keep out of eyes. Julep, love your bare face. Hydrating cleansing oil. Ooh. Last is a lipstick. I'm assuming cover girl. All I see is girl at the end. It's a drugstore product, so you have to peel off the freaking sticker. And then it leaves behind the nasty ass sticky residue. Like, it's 2019 now. Surely science has evolved to the point that we don't need to have this stickiness on all of our stuff. Oh my gosh, it is the white, shiny, glittery lipstick. I am so intrigued right now. This is the 2002 frosted lip vibe. That's what that is. So yeah, that was all the random crap that I got from Ulta. By the way, I want to do a giveaway and I want to do it when I hit 100 subscribers and I'm at like 60. So like, if you want to spur that on, you should tell people to subscribe. Cause I'm assuming you are. You are subscribed to me, right? Don't you want to see this? nonsense all of the time. Look, we have a stuffed squid. Oh, stuffed squid is falling over. Stuffed squid is in protest of you not subscribing. Okay, we're done. Bye.